So today on this segment of Straight Talk, I'm visiting with Alexa Stone. She's the founder and president of consulting company called Echo Preserve and also a member of ISSA. Alexa, welcome to Straight Talk. How are you doing today? Thank you very much. I'm doing well. Glad to be here. Now, you're down in Florida, I believe, and we're all going through these, these issues with the pandemic, and uh, you're in the news a bit. Um, we certainly are. Yeah. Florida is considered the epicenter of the pandemic right now. I know most of my family doesn't live in Florida, so they are so worried about me, and when I watch the news, I'm quite afraid, too, so I'm not watching it too much, just enough so I know what's going on. Yeah, well, I, I hope the news, we don't want it to shift to someone else, but eventually Florida will get through this as other states have gone through it. Um, maybe it's everyone has to have their time in the limelight of the pandemic. I, I think so. It's just a period of time. I mean, yeah. I feel like Florida's doing all the right things, so I'm pretty much all the right things anyway. Yeah, well, you know, the experts are at work, so. But I know one, one thing that's true is that your company, uh, Echo Preserve, is working with facilities to help them open safely. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about what you got going on down there and uh, what you're doing for facilities. Absolutely. Eco Preserve is a sustainability and workplace wellness consultant. So we've done a lot of work in the past with indoor air quality, industrial hygiene. We have a certified industrial hygienist, hygienist on our team, which is terrific. So when we found out about GBAC uh, accreditation, Global Bio-Risk Advisory Council under ISSA, we looked at it very carefully because we are third party facilitators for a number of different certifications and we really stand behind GBAC because it, it creates what, a, a comprehensive protocol that everybody within the entire organization, including the service providers, participate in. So we, we think it's a fantastic program and it's picking up very quickly around across the nation. Yeah, the, the accreditation program has 20 elements, and I, I've been through those. I've reviewed them, talked about them, and some of them are, to me, a little, little um, intensive, which they should be, because facilities have to make changes, some, some more than others, to comply with those, those 20 elements. Your company makes it a little easier for facilities to do that. Tell us about who you've been working with and maybe some of the examples that you have seen with those companies or those facilities. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Jeff. I think it does make it easier to have a third party facilitator working with organizations, especially the larger organizations, which is who we work with. Most of the convention centers, the, uh, the Amway Arena, the Camping World Stadium, uh, convention centers in Dallas, uh, Tampa, and Orange County. And when you're getting together your, your stakeholder kickoff meeting, you've got a lot of people in that room. And that coordination piece can become a little bit I'm not going to say contentious, but a little bit of a push and pull because you're asking people to do things that they haven't done before and think about things in ways that they haven't been asked to in the past. So having a third party facilitator makes it easier. Um, we've definitely found that to be true. And in terms of writing the protocols, it really varies entity to entity, how much is already in place and how much needs to be developed and created. All right. Do some name dropping. Who have you helped down in Florida or across the country? Orange County Convention Center, Tampa Convention Center, Amway Arena, Camping World Stadium, Kate Bailey Hutchison Convention Center in Dallas. And then we are hoping to do many more in this area. I think Florida has turned on GBAC as one of the ways to be safe and uh, make visitors feel safe when they come back into large venues. So yesterday we presented to the Greater Orlando Sports Coalition, and there's a number of interested parties there. And I really want this to work for everyone. Uh, there's other certifications that are out there that EcoPreserve can also provide, well certification, well safety, um, fit well. But GBAC is the only one that is focused specifically on the prevention and control of infectious disease. Yeah, we know that right now we have this pandemic, the coronavirus issue. COVID-19, once this is done with, and we, we hope that happens soon, uh, facilities that have gone through this process will no doubt stay with it because you never know what's coming next and there's always some kind of infectious issue, it seems like in the news today. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, it was really interesting to find out that 75% of the new diseases that exist are zoonotic diseases. They're being passed from species to species. And because of 
population growth and our merging in with the ecosystems, we're getting more and more zoonotic diseases and they're even said to be growing at exponential rates. So COVID-19 is just number one, unfortunately. This is the new normal we need to be prepared for. Yeah, I don't know if I should call that good news or bad news or just information. <laughs> well, I think it's good news in terms of GBAC because GBAC well, is not, doesn't just work for COVID, it works for any infectious disease. So it's a good protocol to have in place, to your point, yeah. for the future. Absolutely. Alexa, I know that everyone is aware of the GBAC online fundamentals course that helps people deal with these, um, these cleaning and disinfection procedures. You yourself have some experience in that. What, do you, what have you done with your company? I went through the training process myself and then everyone on my team went through it as well. If we're going to be working with GBAC, we want to understand it. And to be honest with you, everybody could learn from that training. There was all sorts of good information. It's long, it took a while, and it was absolutely worthwhile. Yeah, I took it as well. I don't remember how long it took, and I probably wouldn't tell you if I did remember. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it was, it's a good program. Um, yeah, it was it, good. I was, I was so happy because I was talking to Gavin and Patty, and they mentioned that you know the training was available, and I was so happy that I had been through it. Yeah, yeah, Gavin and, and Patty are our leaders in GBAC, and they're doing a great job. Well, thank you, Alexa, and uh, be safe down there in Florida. Thank you.